78th story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones, real prosperity. When they, they are they're listening to the order, one, order, according to the order, there is always prosperity. Like Kaisen said, every day one improvement. There is no every day one improvement. It happens of its own. Not one improvement, but millions of improvements together happening. What a beautiful family. But when you ask your son to overtake, the father gets upset. His experience is not counted. You don't sit with him like how you forget to sit with your wife nowadays, with your husband and wife do not sit to discuss. When father and mother together, when they are not sitting together, they forget to sit with the children. They get frightened looking at the children. They send the children to the tuition masters. When they are rich from the school, push them to the tuition masters. You are so scared. In that scare, scared situation, how are we going to buy more property? How are you going to enjoy a building? When the family tree itself has got massive property, you don't have to buy property. You just add into it. You just melt into it. You hardly don't think. Then no broker's land mafias will trick you by telling, I'll give you a half site, a pigeon's whole site. A pigeonhole flat for you to buy and die there is like, like a jail. And you shut yourself inside the jail, inside the small apartment, inside the 15 by small 30 or 20 site, and fighting with the neighbors, strangers. <laughs> Where prosperity will come. Hence, Sengai said, look, if you go according to my order, there is no grieving. The moment the order is disconnected, you start thinking money, flat, fixed deposit in the bank, and the bank is looting. They take your money, take your talent, take your children, and then they sell it to somebody else. They pawn it to somebody else and give you a pittance like the street prostitutes. The pimp take the prostitute and gives her one tenth of the money, he makes a bigger money because he has to share it several, several people. But if that sharing is happened inside your own family, where there is a tension of finding a bride or bridegroom for the children, where there is a problem for finding a job for the children, if the procedures of the father, son and grandson is followed properly, that is real prosperity. When that is followed, you get the experience of the medicine. Let thy food be thy medicine in the, right in the house. You don't go hopping from one hospital to other. And all this hospital, not your relatives, strangers. Even every country gets frightened of a stranger. They keep a huge amount of border security force, central reserve force, army, navy and the air force to protect from, to stop the strangers from coming inside. And that is one part of the story. And another part, without the border security force, uh, Army, Navy and the Air Force, you are allowed a stranger next door to you and you have been attacked day in and day out and you call it, I am in living in pain. I want to fight with the mother-in-law, father-in-law. I want to take a house, nucleus, family outside. You don't even make a call to your relatives. You get disconnected and you believe and others taught you friends are better than relatives. So you start believing friends are lead. friends are strangers. After once you stabilize your relationship with your family, the joint family, family tree, then you can look at your friend because that is powerful. They purposely put a poison into your mind telling relatives are poison. Friends are the best. No, no. The link is disconnected. You are spending a lot of time with your friends and the friends drag you into the bar and into the bar, into your death trap. The family is totally destroyed. 
you allowed the family to be totally destroyed. Follow the scriptures. The father dies, the son dies, the grandson dies. In that order <laughs> is what Senge said, not about the death, but about trying to follow the strictures. Strictly follow it up and I think there will be prosperity. You are rich. You are wealthy. You are wise. Yes. And you are healthy also because in that family, you practice Sanskriti, the culture, which is powerfully involved in you taking the spade and the pickaxe and going to the field and digging along with the family members, climbing the tree, plucking the fruits. You know everything what is happening in that joint family, in the family tree, where vegetables are grown for what purpose? Organic. Fruits are grown for what purpose? Organic. And according to the seasonal, you are healthy, wealthy and wise. Follow. That is the real prosperity.